Hi guys and welcome to my NXT TakeOver 30 uh, prediction video. So yes, I'm back to do a TakeOver prediction video. Uh, I did one for In Your House, I did another for TakeOver Portland. Uh, and yeah, I'm back now for NXT TakeOver 30. Um, yeah, I usually, I've usually i now started doing prediction videos for TakeOver takeovers for quite a while, so I'm just keeping that trend going. Of course, it's this Saturday before, uh, before SummerSlam. Uh, we only have four matches currently announced on the card, but that's, that's all you need usually for a takeover, isn't it? They're usually still very good shows. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. So, uh, first match we have is a ladder match for the vacant NXT North American Championship. Yes, we have Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, Cameron Grimes. They're the, they're the country who have been confirmed. And uh, the other two haven't been confirmed yet. We have Johnny Gargano or Ridge Holland and Finn Balor or Velveteen Dream. I assume their qualifying matches are going to be this week on NXT. Um, so I, I assume it's going to be Johnny Gargano and probably Velveteen Dream, I reckon, who will be in the main main one, or, or Finn Balor. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Obviously, I'm looking forward to this. Um, ladder matches are always incredible in NXT, um, especially. I remember for the, for the North American Championship a while back, I think it was for NXT TakeOver and New Orleans, we got that incredible ladder match for the North American Championship. Um, yeah, Adam Cole won. That was such an incredible match, and I think this is going to be a potential match of the year contender. I really do. Um, I think it's just going to be there's going to be so many cool spots. I think every guy is going to have time to shine. I think it's going to be a, what, a 25, 30 minute classic but to win. It's it's tricky, you know. I think this, I think uh, Damian Priest could be a big call. I think Johnny Gargano if he gets in it. I think Finn Balor and Velveteen Dream if either of them win it. Of course, Velveteen Dream could become a two time North American champion. So could Johnny Gargano. Um, I am going to go with a, with a big call. Bro I'm going to go with Bronson Reed because I know they've been pushing him lately. Um, and I, re I really enjoyed his work. I, I like he's another big big guy who can pull off some amazing moves, kind of like just like Keith Lee. And I really enjoyed him. They're really getting behind him. Um, I think he's a very good wrestler. He's always had some really fun matches. Um, and I, you know he's a big boy. He's three hundred and thirty pounds. He's five foot eleven, but I think he's he's just got some really good moves. I think, he, I think he's going to have some really cool spots in this match ever. You can tell NXT are quite quite behind him, or Triple H is behind him, so I'm going to go with it with Bronson Reed to become the new North American champion. In the next match, yes, we have a singles match for the NXT Women's Championship. Yes, we have Io Shirai defending her belt up against Dakota Kai. Um, yes, of course, Io Shirai won the belt off Charlotte in that triple threat match at, um, at uh, In Your House. Uh, and she, I think she's been a good champion so far. She's already had one successful defence, I think, against um, Tegan Knox on TakeOver. I mean, on TakeOver, on, on NXT. But then Dakota Kai has now gotten involved um, attacking Io Shirai after the match. And then there was then there was a match here against, up here against Rhea Ripley. And Dakota Kai won. Uh, I think she cheated, but yeah, she won. And now we've got Dakota Kai going up against Io Shirai. Uh, I think this is going to be a very good match. I'm, I'm a big fan of Dakota Kai. I have been for quite a while. And, but I think, like... She's just been kind of in this in this heel thing with Tegan Knox for a bit too long now, but I'm glad to see her back um, up, up, up and up and up a bigger, better position. And I think this is going to be a good match. Um, who have I got to win? I'm going to say uh, Io Shirai to, uh, to retain, uh, just because this is her first takeover defence. Um, and I feel like she deserves one. One takeover defence before she drops it. Or I, I could see I could see Dakota Kai winning. You never know. Um, but flip of a coin, yeah, I'm going to say Io Shirai to, uh, to retain, just because I feel like she deserves at least one more defence, at least one pay-per-view defence on, on TakeOver before she drops it. But that being said, look at Charlotte. <laughs> she dropped it in her first defence in your house, so you don't, you never know, you never know how they book uh, the NXT Women's Championship. But I'm going to say, I'm going to say Io Shirai, but it should be a good match, definitely. And then on to a match which is really... Surprise is happening. Yes, we have a singles match. Yes, we have Adam Cole, baby, uh, going up against Pat McAfee. Yeah, Pat McAfee, which is, uh, is he even a wrestler? So yeah, I know Pat McAfee, he's been on like a lot of takeover pre-shows. He's a bit of a dick, but I think that's just the character he plays. I know he's got like a CBS sports radio podcast. Um, and this is where this whole feud started, where he brought on Adam Cole and he... Um, Pat McAfee accused Pat and Cole of like hiding behind the unsweetened era during his big, you know, year-long championship reign, and mocking Cole for his smaller stature. 
but then Adam Cole like rushed out at him, swearing at him and all that. And, and then Pat McAfee um, on a radio show, uh, Triple H offered offered him to come on to NXT. So they they had a match. So then they had like a little bit, little bit of a thing at NXT. But then serving as a guest commentator, and that got into another confrontation between him and Adam Cole. And then Adam Cole, um, and then Adam Cole was being restrained. And then Pat McAfee boom, punted Adam Cole. And yeah, then he was get, yeah, he was like thrown out of the full state university. And then um, the following day, uh, Triple H issued a challenge on behalf of Adam Cole. So yes, uh, and Pat McAfee ex- accepted the video. So now we've got Adam Cole versus Pat McAfee. It's... Right. It's... This is such a strange match. I'm obviously, I'm going to go with Adam Cole because Pat McAfee's, you know, already got something on him. You know, with that you know, evil punt kick on NXT. So I'm going to go with Adam Cole here. Adam Cole's a babyface in this feud, believe it or not. Yeah. I just can't see Pat McAfee winning. I can't see this being this match being longer than ten minutes. Is, is Pat McAfee even a wrestler? Is he? And he's going up against one of the best wrestlers on planet Earth right now. You know, Adam Cole's amazing. He's just come off the back of a one year run as NXT champion. He's done it all in NXT. And part of me feels like this feud is just them blowing off steam uh, before Adam Cole goes up, goes up to the main roster because he's done it all in NXT now. Adam Cole, he's he's been North American champion. Um, tag team champion, of course, NXT champion for a whole year. So I feel like, yeah, he needs to definitely win this. Definitely, Pat McAfee isn't. Is he a fucking? Is he a wrestler? I don't. I don't, I don't know much about Pat McAfee. I really don't. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Adam Cole to win here. I think Pat McAfee deserves. Has, has got a beating coming his way, um, and Adam Cole will be the one to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Adam Cole to get the win here. And on to what I assume will be the main event. Yes, we have a singles match for the NXT Championship. Yes, we have Keith Lee defending the NXT Championship up against Karrion Cross with Scarlett. So, of course, after Keith Lee became double champion when he beat Adam Cole, he uh, relinquished the North American Championship, which, fair enough, you know, he'd had it. He'd had a good reign with it. He felt like he wanted to give it, give it some new opportunities, so that's why I had to be defended in the, cha- in, in the ladder match. And then now Keith Lee can just focus on being NXT Champion. But now he's got um, Karrion Cross to deal with, and I knew I knew this feud was going to happen after we saw Karrion Cross smirking down at Keith Lee when he won both belts, and then then Scarlett had like the time the time glass, um, and Keith Lee's like, "What's going on?" They're playing all these mind games of Keith Lee, and I'm enjoying the feud. Like when he opened the contract, <laughs> and, like it like blinded Keith Lee like a big spurt. Like they're playing all these different mind games to get in Keith Lee's head, and I think this is going to be a very interesting match, a very really big. Hard hitting match between these, you know, Keith Lee's a big guy and so is Karrion Cross. Um, the only problem I think with this match is I feel like NXT have booked themselves into a corner because Karrion Cross, I, I feel, is, is, is undefeated on NXT so far. They've been booking him as this big monster, monster heel, you know, dispatching Tommaso Ciampa, dispatching um, Dominic, da- Dominic Dijakovic, which, you know, was really, really angered Keith Lee because he, he went too far. Um, but Keith Lee's only been North America, has only been NXT champion for what, a month? So he doesn't deserve to lose it in his first defence. He definitely needs a longer run than that. Keith Lee deserves that. So yeah, this is a hard match to call because ne- neither guy can afford a loss, if I'm being honest. So yeah, it's too soon for Keith Lee to drop the belt. Way too soon, considering he was double champion a month ago. He, 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 way too soon, but you can't give Karrion Cross his first loss because that'll just ruin all of his momentum. So oh, I'm going to go... With the match ends on a DQ, I think Karrion Cross is going to get himself disqualified somehow, or ends in a no contest or a double count out. I think that's going to happen. So there'll be some scrappy finish, and that may- means Keith Lee keeps hold of the belt, and maybe it gets carried on to the next takeover. Um, yeah, that's what I, that's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, I think it, I think this is going to be a, there's going to be a rematch at the next takeover, but that's that's when Karrion Cross might win it there. Maybe yeah, I think it's going to be a really good match. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think Keith Lee's definitely going to give Karrion Cross his hardest fought match. Definitely, yes, definitely. Um, but I think Keith Lee needs to, you know, keep it for a bit longer because I, my mates said the other day, NXT have got a very bad record of previous face champions with the NXT, NXT Championship. Um, Johnny Gargano, Alistair Black, Drew McIntyre, um, Shinsuke Nakamura, even because even though he's, he held it twice, he lost. I didn't. I think he lost it in both of his first defenses. So yeah. Um, NXT have not got a very good track record of good, lengthy runs with their face faces as NXT champions. They always prefer the heels. Look at Adam Cole a whole year. Andrade, Andrade had a decent run with it. I think they need to have... The heels definitely have better reigns with the NXT, NXT championship. Um, I mean, apart from, apart from Finn Balor, I think he's like the one, one, one excuse. But 
yeah, it's obvious um, Triple H much prefers his heels as champions <laughs> but when you look at their reigns compared to the faces. But I'm going to go with Keith Lee, definitely, yeah. I'm, but I'm going to go with Keith Lee to retain, obviously, via shenanigans, with, so neither guy takes a clean pin. Um, yeah, and it gets carried on to the next takeover. So yeah, I'm going to go, it ends on a no contest, a DQ, or a no a double a double count out. But I do think it's going to be a really, a really good match. Yeah, and those are my predictions for NXT TakeOver 30. <laughs> yeah, only four matches, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, what, are your, what are your predictions for NXT TakeOver 30? Comment below, let me know. So uh, thank you for watching, guys, and um, I'll see you all very soon.